Hey, I'm James, but I go by the handle jam to go here in cyberspace. I wanted to show off a project I've been working on. It's an RPG racing game called Kitten Burst. You play as Happy, a flying cat. Say hi, Happy. Happy is a down-on-their-luck racing cat. They've been recruited by a mysterious hacker named Saber. She's tasked Happy to travel to sites in cyberspace to siphon ion energy. In return, she'll use some of that energy to upgrade Happy so that they can finally win a race. This is one of the first sites you'll visit in the game, an abandoned weather research station. The game is structured like an RPG, but the main gameplay is flying. One of the unique mechanics in the game is your Width Height Intersect Sensing Kinetic Energy Recovery System, or Whiskers for short. You'll see your whiskers light up when you fly near anything. The closer and faster you fly to objects, the more uber boost you generate. You can also shift your state from solid to liquid, which changes your boost into slow motion. In each site, you can talk with the locals. and race in circuits to siphon energy. In each circuit, the quicker you complete a race, the more ion energy you can siphon. Once you've gathered enough energy, you can use some of it to upgrade Happy's stats. These stats make Happy easier to control or faster at flying. You'll also encounter boss fights in the game. In these challenges, you fly through a track and dodge an onslaught of attacks. Happy has to survive long enough to drain the boss's energy. Your stats carry through in these challenges. For example, your strength stat increases the amount of hits that you can take, all the way up to 9 lives. Whiskers also works. You can near miss the obstacles to charge up your uber boost. Before each fight, you'll be able to choose a core to use against the boss. The default speed of the track uses Happy's core, but if you're up for a challenge, you can shift gears to a Knight core. This speeds up the track, making it way more difficult, but also allows you to siphon more energy if you complete it. If you're struggling, and just want to get to the rest of the story, you can shift down to a Day core. which slows the track at the cost of some energy. This is the Hub Cybership, the Eternal September. 
As you progress through the game, you will unlock hyperlinks to travel to new sites. You can talk to Bella Lugacha to unlock new patterns, palettes, and hats for your cat. Make Happy look like a cat you know IRL. Or make them look like your old Sparkle Cat OC. This is all I wanted to show for now. If you dig the game, please wishlist it. You can follow my development on Twitter, and I'm also thinking of making some dev diary videos as well. I've had a lot of people ask if I'll do some sort of crowdfunding for the game, but I have some reservations about this way of funding projects. Crowdfunding sites take a cut of the funding, and a lot of projects get bogged down in fulfilling backer rewards rather than actually making the project. Instead, I'm thinking of releasing Kitten Burst in Early Access next year. I've also been burned with Early Access games, so I wanted to make sure that I have something that's already worth playing when I decide to release it. So I'm planning on completing the first third of the game for the Early Access release, which will include the intro, two levels, two bosses, and an outro completing the first act of the story. Also release the first act, Act A, as its own OST. I'm Making so much music for this game, it can't fit onto one album anyway. I'll be able to use early access to get some feedback on the game and fix any major bugs before release. I've seen this strategy work really well for other games like Hades and Cruelty Squad. I'll release Act B in early access as well, and then the final Act C will complete the story and be the full 1.0 release of the game. I have the full story and levels of the game already planned out, but the game can expand depending on the funding. I also really want to work with musicians to make some songs or remixes for the game, and commission artists to make character portraits for the NPCs. The dialogue is supposed to look like posts on a form thread, so it would be cool to have some variety in the art styles for the profile pictures. Also, I'm currently only planning on releasing the game in PC and English, but depending on how the launch goes, I can port the game to other platforms as well as include translations. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this deep dive on Kitten Burst. If you follow my projects for a while, thank you for sticking around. Your support has driven me to take on bigger and bigger projects. This is the largest project I've ever worked on, so please be patient, as there's still a lot of work to be done. Thank <laughs> you.